Hey Scorpio, it's the outside edition of Esoteric Tales and Tarot. Uh, in the crystal ball for June, I've got about pig-headedness is what I heard. So be careful that your pig-headedness doesn't make you come sort of unstuck. You know, where are you maybe needing to um, let something go that you're determined to do. It's a little bit like me outside with my outside edition of the Esoteric Tales and Tarot. The wind's blustering now. I definitely should take it inside, but I'm sort of staying here determined. But in the end, I'll probably have regrets <laughs> with the audio and the way things are. But I'd sort of set everything up and I was like, no, I'm going to continue on even though it might not be the wisest of moves there's opportunities around you as well uh, Scorpio so good crystal ball energy as in um, you know uh, opportunities to take things in a new direction uh, new employment opportunities uh, new creative pursuits was the energy that I was getting in June and busy 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 go 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 in in June and actually a bit of fatigue from from that so let's see what comes up in the cards but yeah the pig-headedness was coming through very strongly that maybe uh, that scorpio stubbornness might come to sting us in the tail that me being a fellow scorpio i was like oh this sounds familiar since i'm sitting here in the wind here we are we've jumped out in our own reading the uh death card uh you know the mortality coming up here but the death card in this uh the book of toth uh, tarot so in this one radical transformation end of a cycle so coming out of the stagnation and um having this intensity to to want to move forward in a new direction also if you've been feeling under the weather coming out of that now so feeling like a cycle of that might be uh changing now but you have to move that's the thing now <laughs> you need to to move looks like a like this card's a bit like one that's um, dancing, doesn't it? It's a it's a very cool. Uh, I love when you've got a a sign and then you have them actually jump out in their own in their own reading, especially with just a couple of cards on the table. So awesome! We've got a Knight of Cups, so as well Scorpio energy again, but Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and the Queen of Pentacles. So um, your Capricorns, your Tauruses and your Virgos coming up here. Oh, interesting. Tower on the bottom, which is my other um, misery. The the tower on the bottom of the deck as well. So change is here now, Scorpio. June is the month of change. You're not going to be able to avoid it. If you try to avoid the change, look what's going to happen. The tower will bring it in anyway. So don't resist when you have to give something up. So that pig-headedness, that's going to come up here. Um you really could be dealing with a Capricorn, a, a Taurus or a Virgo, and it could be uh, a battle in, in partnership with that pig-headedness and you just saying, determine, no, I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, have my way, you know, I'm right. Uh, be very careful with that because it could be the ending of something. Someone could walk away. It could be that type of thing that I'm getting here. Uh, same with work where you could be maybe you are right but um you know it could be the the end of the the big downfall here because um it's something to do with money as well and uh juggling but also fairness of money and balance so don't be the fool uh with your eyes closed and not see what's going to come up ahead scorpio because that pig-headedness is going to get you in trouble that's your little warning from this reading as well so just really be cautious in June where can you maybe put down your sword and sort of say you know what uh, let's look at the way you were going to do things or perhaps I can you know allow a bit of wriggle room or maybe I can put up with whatever this is or maybe that is fair you might have to just let something go a little bit Scorpio and that can be hard when you are so stubborn and pig-headed but um, you know, it's a bit like what I was saying, me sitting out here, it can all fall apart. You know, you can end up sitting there in your own um, 
energy having having regrets about what you've done so I'm going to pick out a magical spell card for you from this Lucy Cavendish deck which I got from a lovely lady who was gifting or giving her cards um, to different people and this is a rare deck and she's barely touched her cards so she bought a whole collection back in the early 2000s and then didn't do any readings so I found them on um, marketplace and I thought yes I'm definitely going to grab these cards from her just waiting here's our one so funny because this is the card that I got just for the last reading you can see I've been shuffling <laughs> I just got this for Librans so Librans reading could be important to you too it's funny because Librans had a had a bird of prey circling above when I was doing their reading just beforehand so that could be of significance to you as well um, Scorpio the bird just flying over now and giving me a little confirmation but uh, card 32 the number 32 could be of significance or of luck to you as well so the card of confidence I'll show it to you here red-headed person could be of significance as well but it says our confidence the ability to walk forward and understand that you're a powerful individual with the support of the universe yet you are someone who goes gently among the other inhabitants of this planet I want you to remember that goes gently among the other inhabitants of the planet so when I was saying about the pig-headedness remember your grace confidence is a blessing that we can all have more of and the universe will allow you to feel its love and support with this magical spell so the confidence spell is to raise confidence first banish all negative energy gather one sprig of rosemary one sprig of oregano one sprig of basil and one sprig of sage bind at one end with red orange and blue sky and sky blue thread then light and smudge to raise your energy and your inner confidence so a bit of a sage smudging required there maybe that's to uh, keep the energy at bay of um, you know the the ones that we don't want to have let let in let's look at the a message for those that are single and that are um, thinking about a twin flame a soulmate that can't is not been found Woof! wow look at that <laughs> hasn't been able to Come into your life this is a message from them so I ghosted you but it was getting too intense I don't let people in my life easily because I have trust issues so that could be an explanation to you uh, at the bottom of the deck I couldn't give to you like I wanted to because I'm still healing from my past so there's the reasoning behind it uh, for you single Scorpios that have been finding it hard to bring in the the person that you know is your twin flame or soulmate look Scorpio um, pig headedness coming out in the crystal ball so an, a nice uh, timely warning for us because we haven't hit June yet I don't know what time you're reading this but watch your words watch how you speak to people uh, rein it in <laughs> it's the other thing they just said to me rein it in so yeah the confidence as well don't be overconfident have that balance don't be get into the um, ego and the cockiness because it's not going to serve you well thanks so much for tuning in oh my gosh the subscribers thank you so much you're helping to grow my channel it's really exciting and um, I'm even getting to do some events and things now which is which is pretty wonderful so uh, please give me a thumbs up for the reading as well if this made sense drop a comment down for uh, me to I'll respond back to you but I'd love to hear how this resonates with you and I'll check in with you again soon. Thanks so much, Scorpio. Bye.